If you've ever been to downtown Noblesville, you may have shopped for unique antiques at Old Picket Fence or picked up a children's book at The Wild, the first independent bookstore on the historic Noblesville Square. Maybe you've enjoyed a scoop of one of the 36 flavors of delicious ice cream from Alexander's, but you may not have realized that you were walking through buildings with an extremely rich history in the county seat of Hamilton County, Indiana. Constructed around 1895 by the Cash family, these buildings have been used to sell everything from clothing to carpets and were passed down to their descendants over generations. Their hard work allows us to enjoy what the buildings have to offer now. This building on the northwest corner of 10th and Logan has had multiple regenerations in its life. Now home to Nova 29 and the Ville Restaurant, you can dine on many New Orleans and American classics. Locals used to know this as Eddie's Corner Cafe, a staple in the community for many years. Constructed in 1891, the deed reveals that this block was a business venture between William H. Castor and local Native Americans. Inside the third floor of this building are the Nova 29 offices, where numerous startups and small businesses are housed. The Copper Still is known for good food and good brews. With TVs and live music, it's a hub of entertainment in the downtown Noblesville community. Believe it or not, this building actually used to be a bank. It was built by Citizens Bank in 1871 and is one of the earliest representations of Italianate style adaptation to a commercial building. Last but not least, the historic Hamilton County Courthouse. Now used for county business, the building was designed by Edwin May and built between 1877 and 1879. The courthouse underwent the first phase of significant restoration from 1992 through 1994. The most recent preservation efforts started in 2015. I invite you to visit for yourself, spend some time, and enjoy the people, places, and experiences that you'll discover in downtown Noblesville.